Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And after uh, around two weeks, God, it feels good to say that. So, this is going to be a bit of a channel update, and I'm going to try and keep it um, as brief as possible. But um, in it, essentially, I'm going to tell you about what I've been doing over the last two weeks and why I wasn't able to record pretty much anything. Um, and, you know, I mean, the recording has been on and off, basically, for the for the last two months, more or less, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm going to talk about uh, me getting back on track, back on schedule, as it were, and uh, what the plans are for the next few months, I suppose, in the f and for the foreseeable future. So, the TLDR of it is, uh, now that uni has finished most of uh, the lectures and most of the quizzes and tests and stuff, I'm able to record again, all I have are exams left, but that's by far the easiest part, time management wise. And uh, now the lockdown is finished, I'm gonna be, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be available for um, recording a lot more, uh, a lot more often now. So I will be getting back to the old schedule of one video per day, sometimes two, roughly at least. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to keep uh, keep that up. Uh, the regular sort of uh, stuff will turn on the channel, the let's plays, and the occasional first impressions, first uh, look at, etc., etc. So, before we get into that, uh, in more depth, I just wanted to give you like a TLDR if you don't have time to listen to the whole thing, or aren't particularly interested, uh, that's sort of the, the, the gist of it. I'm, I'm back, I'm going to be recording again regularly, and uh, yeah. So, the new series are going to be a new one in Warhammer, and another one, I'm going to be finishing up Mountain Blade, which is going to take some time, and the other Let's Plays I'm going to take a bit of a break from, at least for another month. Uh, because I want to give people that haven't seen them an opportunity to go back and watch all the episodes if they want to. Uh, plus, especially when you're doing like long Let's Plays like that, it's good to take a break every now and again. If Let's Plays are going to take like well over 100 episodes, um, or at least close to 100 episodes, depends. Uh, plus, I'm, I just don't really feel like playing them right now all that much. Um, kind of, you know, mostly a personal thing, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so before I get into more sort of in-depth stuff, um, that's the TLDR of it, and the game in the background is Warhammer 2 Total War, a replay from about three weeks ago, I think, uh, as the dwarves fighting the Chaos Invasion up in the north. So, let's get into it now. Uh, I'm not going to be commentating over, uh, commentating over the battlefield much, because I'm just going to show you what's happening, and... Uh, I'll do a lot of the sort of strategy and commentator commentating on um, Warhammer in general in the new Let's Play that I'm planning for this game because I've been enjoying it so bloody much. It is definitely like, at this point, it is my favourite Total War game ever, and by far it is... Um, well, it's unexpected, but it, it, currently it's my favourite game that I've played in, like, quite a while, but it's, like, slowly becoming one of my favourite games that I've ever played as well. It's gotten so much better since launch, with the new DLCs and the updates and whatnot, and I am a little bit embarrassed by the amount of money I spent on this game, but at the same time it was so worth it, so... Yeah. Anyways. Be all that as it may, uh, Warhammer 2 is... Uh, Okay, can we get frames back? Thank you. Warhammer 2 is going to be the next Let's Play uh, after the Chaos things. Uh, chaos thing finishes. I'm going to do a, a sort of a more traditional style one, I suppose is, is what you would call it, with um, more comment uh, commentating on strategies and stuff like that, and a far more challenging campaign as well. And possibly a far more interesting one as well, because, uh, you know... Chaos isn't the most interesting faction yet. Um, you know, we'll have to wait for Warhammer 3 for that one. Anyways, why was I not able to record and then what was going on during quarantine? Well, um, the plus side of it, uh, I, I suppose, is that a lot of other people had all the time in the world to record and they really did profit off of the entire quarantine thing in the sense that, you know, their channel's got a lot more traction. It's, it's kind of a Kind of a weird and, and slightly horrible thing to say that people are profiting off of, such a, off of such a thing, but it's like, it's a statement of fact, right? More people got into YouTube, more people watched YouTube videos, more people watched Let's Plays, um, 
simply because they had more time on their hands, and it's good in the sense that, you know, even us YouTube content creators can prove that in times like these, our jobs aren't entirely useless, and we aren't just parasites of society, that, uh, you know, we, we do have a function to serve, um, and if that's alleviating boredom and then keeping people mentally sane by uh, virtue of at least some entertainment, then, you know, that, that's, that, there's something to be said about that, at the very least. Anyways, uh, let's get in, let's get a few close-ups of some giant slaying action here, which isn't looking too well, but trust me, this is like one of the worst units in the game. Uh, again, I need to stop talking about Warhammer. So, essentially, Uni has been a bit of a thorn in my side during quarantine, because, I mean, this, I can't say this about everyone, but... For the most part, they've been pretty strict about schedules, and you'd get situations where you're like, 5pm you would get an assignment and you need to finish it by, like, either the same evening or tomorrow evening, and you really didn't have much time for yourself. I didn't have time to render videos, I didn't have time to record them, it was just messy. Um, I, I couldn't plan much ahead, which is, like, a big issue, uh, but also, more than that, uh, I needed to move from my university city, you know, the city where I go to university and where, where I live, to my older, older city, to the city I lived in previously, right, and I don't live alone here, so my parents needed help as well with, um, you know, everything, what with the lockdown going on and, and, and whatnot, so I didn't have much time for myself in, in that respect either, so... Yeah, it's it, it was quite hectic. I had some backlog videos, so like for the course of uh, the, or at least at the beginning of, of lockdown, it wasn't that horrible. But I I couldn't keep up with the with the schedule of one video per um, per day at all. And uh, lately, for the last two weeks, it's just been extra hectic because of all the um, final exams and and whatnot before um, before the break. So yeah, midterm exams actually is is, is what they're called. Um, so yeah, midterm exams happened, and i proud to say I did relatively well, but this is not a vlogging channel, and that doesn't matter. Um, but what I do want to say is that I, now that that's finished, I'm able to record again and have some more time for myself. Plus, I will be returning to the other city in a couple of weeks, so yeah. It has been a... Yeah kind of depressing a uh, few weeks, mostly just because of the amount of work and, you know, you can't do anything else other than work. That was some friendly fire there. Um, it, it, so it's sort of like, it sort of gets you down, you know, because there's, there's like not much to look forward to, because like, okay, you, you got a paper done, yay, now like do six more for next week and like next week's going to be the same li same as this and there's... Yeah, it's it's been a bit depressing, but uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine now. Now that it's over, it's a lot better. And if anything good came out of the entire thing, I think I've I've realised and began to appreciate a lot more just how much I like doing this, to be honest, and how much I miss it. Um, for no other reason than I just find it fun to entertain people, if I can say that, right? Um, it sounds a bit weird, I know, but like, it's shown me how much I exa how much I exactly I miss it, and how much I enjoy just creating videos. You know, just comp doing let's plays, doing first impressions, um, in general, just being active on YouTube. How much I I actually like that, and uh, how much of a passion I have for that hobby, and and generally, it's just it's just what brings me joy and entertainment more so than than anything else, I think, and it's, yeah, there's, there's, there's not, not much more to it, it's just that, you know, I like doing this, it's fun, and, um, it's not just for, I'm not doing it just for the entertainment of others, or just for the amusement of others, I get personal pleasure and, and enjoyment out of the, um, out of the entire content making process myself. There we go. That's about it for uh, that segment, and I think that's about it for the entire um, channel update. So, yeah, I will be doing Warhammer, I will be doing Bannerlord, uh, but Bannerlord has some serious issues with it right now, so I, I don't know how long that will go on for, uh, mainly because, well, it's... 
Mm, this is an interesting battle. Um, mainly because it like it, it's the performance issues, it's the stability issues. I've already lost a save file. Um, it just got corrupted. And I couldn't load it back in, and yeah, yeah. Anyways, though, um, it has been a different, let's just say, a different few. Um, few weeks and I'm glad to be back on schedule and glad to be doing what I love so you know that's about it uh, if you have any suggestions any questions about almost anything really feel free to ask down in the comments below and I will respond um, I think that's it no more no point in uh, procrastinating and, and um, making this video any longer than it needs to be. However, if any of you are interested, I will show you the rest of the battle and I will commentate a little bit on it uh, because it is one of like the most interesting battles I've had in Warhammer in, in... well, since I've started really actively playing it, and which is right around the time, around uh, right around the start of lockdown. Um, I'll talk a little bit about Warhammer and a little bit about that, but uh, as far as the channel update is concerned, I think that's that's basically it. Okay, good. So, Warhammer. Um, if you told me a couple of weeks ago, or, uh, no, not a couple of weeks ago, but like a couple, a couple of months ago, or even when the game initially launched, that this will be my favourite game of 2019-2020, I would have told you that you're insane. Um, but... You know, things changed, the game was updated, um, not too much, I think I just got more into it and, and understood more about the game, and just got better at it, um, well, I say better, but I think I just have a more thorough understanding of the title now, uh, not, not that I necessarily got much better at it, but you know. Um, anyways, the game has changed though, the, the game has updated quite a bit since since release, and I got more used to the UI, to the, to the map, to the um, different strategies, to the balance of power, and how units are balanced, and how the economy works, and so on and so forth, and uh, you know, once you get used to it, it just the game opens up for you, and it is a pleasure to play. Uh, so, all of that being said, um, let's let's take a look at this battle now. I started off with two stacks, mostly with long beards and uh, quarrelers, and I have a few. Uh, what are these? A few grudge throwers. Now they run out of ammo, and I want to preserve them for future fights, so I'm going to withdraw them off the battlefield. But. Uh, when sort of the main line clashed, it was a relatively typical Dwarven engagement of Warriors in the front, Quarrelers in the back, uh, or Thunderers in the back, and just shoot the enemy. And that's your main way of doing damage, and the front line is just there sort of to hold out the um, initial assault. I do have a few flavor units like this. Um, the Iron Drakes are actually extremely powerful. They're freaking flamethrowers, alright? And uh, how many kills do they have? 227 at this point, which, yeah... Uh, and they actually don't do that much um, friendly fire damage either, so the Quarrelers really are phenomenal. Um, Longbeards and Dwarf Warriors, on the other hand, not so great when it comes to dishing out damage, but they are great at holding the line. The main damage dealers in the army, however, were the um, were the Thunderers and the Quarrelers. Anyways, Chaos attacked with three full stacks, more or less. Um, I think it was two and a half stacks or something along those lines, but it was all good stuff. It, some of the some of the units were a little. Eh. They had a few chaos warriors and a few marauder horsemen, and the giants really aren't that good. But uh, did have to fight a lot of chosen and a lot of chaos knights, and now three hell cannons, which are going to be wreaking havoc upon my lines. And honestly, if they came in at the start of the battle, all five of them. This wouldn't be so much of a problem, but now I don't really have a good way of dealing with them. The gyrocopters are out of ammo, and um, most of my missile units are out of ammo as well. Um, and plus, all of my unit sizes are severely reduced. So that actually makes these a heck of a lot more effective, because the smaller the unit scale, the better the Hell Cannon is, because it's a single entity unit. Um, 
I still think it's... I think visually this is my favourite artillery piece in the game. But uh, that's, that's where my, my preferences end, because it's really not that great. Um, the Dwarven artillery and the Empire artillery are just way better. Um, the Vampire Coast artillery is way better as well. Um, hell, Necrofex Colossus are better artillery than, than a Hell Cannon. Um, so yeah, Cygors as well, but like most artillery units in the game are better than the Hell Cannon at this stage on um, large or um, huge unit scale. On smaller unit scales, the, um, the Hell Cannon actually performs really well because it lands most of its shots in the center of a... See, that's, that's like a good example. On half health, the Longbeards took so much damage, but if it was a bigger unit, um, if, if they had more health to begin with, it wouldn't have been as impactful, right? So, yeah, I, I guess we get to see that now, but I'm holding the line mostly. Uh, 16 minutes in and the battle is still equal and I'm out of all ammunition, which is just tragic, but uh, I do have a lot of Quarrelers on very high experience and they're not terrible. Actually, they're pretty good at melee, so yeah, we, we should be able to hold this off, but uh, we will lose quite a few units as well. Let's go back to the cinematic mode and uh, I'll show you the rest of the battle and then we'll wrap the video up. I think this is one of my favorite fights. Grumbrindle is still going strong, and there he go. No. No, Grumbrindle is still going strong, tying down multiple units of Chaos and uh, Chaos Trolls and, and Chaos Knights. I mean, just. Really, just, just very, very impressive. Hmm. <sighs> No oh god, I apologize. <clears throat> Anyways, but as we get as we inch closer towards the cannons, we inch closer towards our victory as well. Um Those are just Marauder horsemen, so these guys should be alright at dealing with those when and if they close to melee, but uh, they are gonna whittle them down quite a bit as they as they approach. But I need to sacrifice these guys so that I can keep moving. Uh, the main army force towards the cannons and towards this group of, of units here. Uh, we're chasing these down. Okay, so we've won the battle there. And I think this is around the time when everything starts to turn. Uh, right when, when Grombrindle uh, gets wounded, actually. So here we go. Trolls have terrible leadership, so they route. Chaos Knights are going to stay for a while, but they're going to route soon as well. And... Had some of these hit, like there, for example, or there, this would have been way closer of a battle. But the way things stand right now, we are inching our way towards a victory. And as the sort of last few remaining melee units of Chaos break. Um, we approach the Hell Cannons and behold... Fighting fire with fire. I thought it exploded in the first volley, apparently not. This, however, I think is my favorite part of the video. Um, the Gyrocopters are slowly pushing the, the Hell Cannon out of the battlefield. They're not doing any damage to it, don't worry. They're just slowly pushing it away. It's like, go back to the Chaos Wastes from whence you came. Ever so slowly and gently. Yeah, anyways, though, I, I missed the, the fact that we blew both of these up with, um, with the Iron Drakes. And that's about it for Chaos. Um, this was the entire Chaos Invasion, more or less. I think there was um, one... Beastman tribe left, and Archeon, I think, or like one more Servants of Chaos Horde, something along those lines. I don't actually remember if I um, fought Archeon before this fight or not, but um, yeah. Essentially, I was able to get in a few hours of Warhammer here and there, and I've watched a lot of people play, so like, I've, I've watched Legend of Total Wars streams. The guy is an absolute madman. He streams like Warhammer 2 for like seven or eight hours every day, sometimes more. Um, he's obviously phenomenal at the game, how wouldn't he be? 
Uh, it's, uh, like, in, in all in all seriousness, though, that is that was like the last fuck you shot from the cell cannon. Um, but seriously, it's just you know, most of it is just a matter of practice and uh, yeah, challenging yourself, I suppose. Um, so he, um, I've, I've been watching his streams and a couple of other guys as well, and um, I've been able to play a little bit, like while listening to lectures or while. Um, yeah, mostly while listening to, to lectures or, or, or like doing something else and I'll have a, a stream open on the other monitor or, or in the background or on the phone or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, that, that's how I managed to get in some, some Warhammer 2 practice and some Warhammer 2 um, time on the on the Steam account. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I've been pretty busy and uh, I'm glad that it's all over and I can get back to recording. But here we go, a Pyrrhic victory. Not really, though. I haven't lost any units. I think I just lost, like, one or two stacks of Longbeards, which I easily replaced with Global Recruitment. Uh, but Chaos lost pretty much everything, so... Yeah, that was a lot better, and uh, it's, it's a shame we don't get the results screen. Or do we? I think we do when I click this. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you the results screen, and uh, we'll end the video there. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the series. With the rest, with the rest of the series? Ah, you know what? It's just good to be back. It's good to get that out of my, out of my system. I haven't said it in so long. Um, but yeah, in all seriousness, thank you for, for sticking around. Um, and thank you for... Uh, for just being here. <laughs> and showing support. Anyways, until next time, and until another video, which will be... I think just a few minutes after this one. Um, and then after that one, the one tomorrow. And God, it feels good to be saying that. Um, yeah. Oh, it, so, if you want to watch Bandlord a few minutes from now, if not tomorrow, or a day, or uh, yeah, some other time. Until then, however, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.